Yes, welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of 7 of 7. And in case you're wondering, 7 of 7 is the drink bag game show that explores the inebriated minds of our guests. It's the show nursery rhymes are made from, don't believe me. Well, you sang along to it's word for word, only back then it was 10 green bottles. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we might only be left with three short glasses, but it doesn't make it any less of a challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 7 of 7 in case you're still wondering again. Please note that the show is recorded under a controlled environment and our guests will be chauffeured to any location of his choice. After, remember, like I always say, to drink responsibly. This is 7 of 7. My name is OJ and this is your guest for today. Our guest today is a Nigerian creative photographer, painter, artist and publisher with a law degree. Bog called him a major force in the creative scene in Nigeria. His work uh, in photography and visual arts has earned him international accolades featuring in many international exhibitions. He has been described as one of Nigeria's groundbreaking celebrity photographers who has helped put Nigerian photography on the world map. Me, I personally envy the fact that women do exactly what it tells them to do because it makes them look so good. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome the one who can make time stand still forever, Mr. Kelechi Amadi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good, my brother. You love that intro, Abby. Yeah. It was great. Okay. Thank you. We, we, thank we try you. like that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining us on the 7 of 7. What we yes. basically do right here on the show, the rule remains that you ask a total of seven questions um, through the duration of this session. All questions must be from the world of photography. God help me. <laughs> <laughs> all questions must be from the world of photography. I will attempt to answer all of your questions while firing back with mine. For each question we do not get correctly, we will be drinking one shot. All right. I see. So what would you like to drink today? Hmm. We have choices. No, just two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what would you love to drink? I'll go with this. Why? Um, Why? The vodka. Why? Okay. Yeah. Now, Mr. Kelechi Amadi, how did you even venture into photography? Let me ask that. Well, photography came to me, how did they say, it chose me. Why do people like using that line? As, as opposed to me choosing it, yeah. Okay. Because photography was um, a thing I used to do uh, as reference for my paintings. You know, I started as a painter, you know. And then gradually, people started liking the photographs I was making as well as my paintings. So they were like, you know, can we also buy the photograph? And that was how gradually I found myself, you know. Taking people's pictures. And then people started wanting to pay me to make <laughs> photographs for them. I said, okay, this is becoming something. And then because, before I could say Jack Robinson, I was, I was exhibiting all over the world at photo exhibitions. Mm -hmm. how, how lucrative is photography for people that want to venture into this kind of trade? Well, what can I say? You know, just like every other, um, art, you know, I mean, painting for instance, uh, there are people who will put their wares on the main road and, you know, you, they can make more than 5,000 Naira for each of their paintings and there are those who are getting their works auctioned for millions of dollars, you know, so um, it all depends. But in terms of, you know, whether you can make a good living, absolutely, you know, I mean, what, what are the challenges as a Nigerian photographer? Well, the there, are, there are challenges. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's the same challenges that you have with life. You know, when you are starting, you're not so good. People don't appreciate you so much, you know. <laughs> um, just like in Nigeria, it's an environment where people love the art of the baguette. You know, when you're prizing tomatoes and crawfish, <laughs> you know, you want to tell people, you know, I got such a good baguette, oh my God, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you rely on their comments about your work, mm -hmm. you may get discouraged, you know, because they're just trying to get a good baguette, if you get what I mean, yeah. you know. So those are some of the challenges. Once you can cross that hurdle and get your, your act together and build your craft, you're good to go. You're good to go. All right. Um, what we always do right here before we start drinking, um, it's like a form of signing the dotted line. Yes. We get to drink one glass. 
so we, we abide by the rules nothing by the rules so help us god are we good good i'll be filling this up <clears throat> now that we're both clear on the rules <laughs> let's go on this break i'll be filling this up and of course we have kelly chiamaji right here in the building all right <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's still seven of seven, and today we'll be taking mug shots. Did you see what I did there? <laughs> mug shots, mug shots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with Nigeria, ace creative photographer Kelechi Amadi, right here in the building. Ah, my first question. <clears throat> Let's talk camera. One of your favorite tools. One of the most important camera settings to understand is ISO. In simple terms, capture light lower ISO will result in the darker image and vice versa. But this doesn't mean that I ISO setting is better. Break it down for us. Lower lower ISO, higher ISO. Tell us how exactly this works. Oh That's well. not my question, by the way. Oh well. <laughs> ISO, ISO has is, is a number right. that determines the level of sensitivity. Mm -hmm that your camera will be at. These days with the digital cameras, it's digital. You just, in those okay. days, each film had its own ISO. Okay. Most time people used to work with a 100 ISO film, and then you buy a 400 ISO film, and then you buy a 800 mm -hmm. ISO film, you know, and things like that. So um, the advantage with higher ISOs is that you get a more sensitive sensor and you can shoot in low light. You can then not put a very slow shutter speed and take care of camera shake and all sorts of things. The bad side of it is the higher your ISO, the more likely you would get what is called noise, digital noise. Yeah. You know? Yes. You know, but then depending on how sophisticated your camera is, these days a lot of technology making it even up to 1000 ISO, you're not getting any kind of visible noise. You know? In those days, for film, it was called grain grain you get grain you know because um, the silver halides are coarse so your print but it was, it was artistic it was nice and people even try to make their pictures have grain these mm -hmm. days so um, so it all depends mm -hmm. really so that's what it is okay mm -hmm. so today we're going to do a whole lot of learning about photography <clears throat> now my question which I feel is a cheap question oh, go ahead what does ISO stand for <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. That is it. I think I will drink. No, you are joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. Clear your mind. No. <laughs> Shay, you didn't whine me. me. You whine me. Now. I think I will drink. Huh? No problem. Okay. <laughs> I've always known this as ISO. I never bothered to know what it means. I know what it means, but I never bothered to know what the acronym is. I actually thought that was a cheap question, mm -hmm. but <laughs> yeah. There. International. Standards organization. Yes. Something simple like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the ISO is a way of expressing a digital camera sensitivity to light at various application levels of the analog critical electrical signals coming from pixel sites on the camera sensor. ISO is not an abbreviation because International Organization of Standardization would have different acronyms in different languages, e.g. IOS in English, OIN in French for Organisation Internationale de Normalisation. It was decided to use the short form ISO, ISO, which is derived from Greek ISOS, meaning equal. Interesting. Yes, sir. Interesting. I liked that we did that. Uh, everybody would have thought, yeah. <laughs> but that's not working. Yeah, it's one of those things. <laughs> now. My next question. Okay, so you're going yeah, next. Yeah, I'll give you two, then you give me your two. Okay. Mm. Let's do landscape. You recently embarked on a 12-month journey traveling across Nigeria to photograph spectacular mountains and valleys, breathtaking waterfalls and landscapes. This was in an effort to tell a story about Nigeria's rare forgotten panoramic vistas. This is in line with the efforts you, uh, that you try to read Nigeria of poverty mentality, po Nigeria porn mentality. Um, tell us about this effort that which you are doing. Oh well, I mean I've always wanted to photograph Nigeria and uh, the opportunity came when, uh, when I was working with uh, Brand 
McAllen and we decided let's do a project together and good. So it, it's really about letting the people understand how great Nigeria is now, not how great it will be huh. in the future. It's about who we are and what we have. A lot of times there's just too much negativity, too much pessimism all over the place and I'm like, you know, open your eyes, look around you and see how great the place Beautiful. is. So that's what, that's what that project was all about. So we went around Nigeria and um, made photographs of the most amazing landscapes. I like that. I like that. So, so right now, my question is, and we know you did a whole lot of learning about Nigerian geography on, on this particular adventure because you're taking pictures of landscape. Um, Kelechi Amadi, <clears throat> what ge geological structure marks the highest peak in Nigeria? The highest peak in Nigeria should be in the Mambila Plateau. Where is that? the Mambila Plateau in um, Taraba State. That is supposed to be the highest point. Is that your final answer? In Nigeria. That should be. Is that your final answer? What I heard. That's your final yes, answer? Yes, that's my final answer. Okay. Um, the geological structure mask uh, that is the highest peak in Nigeria happens to be Mountain Gangewal. Where is that? It stands at 7,963 feet and is found in the Adamawa Mountains. Adamawa? In a remote corner of Gashaka Gunti National oh. Park. That's also, that's also in that's the Mandela. Highest. Yes. That's also in, in Mandela. In Adamawa, not Araba. You say? In Adamawa, not Araba. Mm. It's part of the Mambila Plateau. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But the Adamawa side. So I got it. Adamawa. It's a Mambila Plateau. Adamawa. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. I knew. It's a Mambila Plateau. Gashaka Gomti is in the yeah. Mambila Plateau. Mm -hmm. So, we're good. So, that works. I made it. That works. <laughs> uh, Your turn. <laughs> All right. So, um, a lot of people know that uh, I started off studying law. Yeah. I, I in, in my early days, you know, it was the norm in my family for us that I either law or, or medicine. So I, I took um, to law and graduated in 93, uh, went to law school, um, got called to buy in 93 at law school in Lagos. Um, the question is, uh, for how long did I practice law? Hmm. Did you? That's the question. Hmm. You didn't. Ah, correct, correct. <laughs> you made it, you made it, you made it. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Nice one, nice one. Why didn't you do? <laughs> Let's talk about that. Why didn't you do? Well, in my year three in school, I made a decision that I was going to be an artist. But I also made a decision that I was going to sort of make sure I pass all my exams hmm. and go to law school, get called to bar but I was going to be an artist. So I had my path already set. Okay. So once after law school, I just settled in and, Switch. and started drawing. What did the family say about this year? Oh, well, everybody, nobody believed I was going to succeed. You know, everybody was afraid for me. Um, rightfully so, because it wasn't the kind of, it's like one of those paths that most people have not taken before. But I knew yeah. exactly where I was going and I knew how it would turn out. I just imagine how crazy uh, it would have been back then. I know right now it's easy for yes. kids to tell their parents how to become this. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can do this, but but then I'm, I'm sure it was just crazy. For yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It was. It was it's good. Crazy. Yeah, a successful photographer now, so you have bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your next question. My next question is that okay, well, um, I'm known for a couple of things. You know, a lot of fashion photography, and. Um, for about seven years, I, I um, became a publisher of a magazine. Um, can you tell me the name of the magazine? Disney. Wait, wait. This, is it? 
Thank you very much. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. I'm not done. Is that your final answer? Don't let it look catch you. I publish this day. No, no, not not you like publishing this day itself. Oh yeah. Oh, you do pieces on on that pro on on this day. Okay, your own, your very own. That's style mania. Ah, you got it. <laughs> He got it, he got it, he got it. Star Media Magazine. Star Media Magazine. Yes. <laughs> that was close. He <laughs> got it, he got it, he got it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go on this break. I will be back with Seven Up Seven. We'll kill it. You this still right here in the building. <laughs> yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm um, Kelechi Amadi still right here in the building. Seven of Seven and... Okay, I'm leading. I've not drank anything yet. Kelechi Amadi has taken one. Still full on my side. Six remaining on Kelechi Amadi's side. My next question. <coughs> you have photographed them all. Linda Osifo, Nancy Sime, Peltusi, Moabudu... And the list goes on and on. What would you say is the best site to capture a female from that will produce the most flattering image? That is not my question, by the way. I'm just trying to get into your thought process. Well, I don't it's know. The really. best I mean, it all depends. Side. It all depends on the individual mm -hmm. and their facial structure okay. and their attitude towards the camera. Um, sometimes smack in front of the camera is, is, is okay, you know? But a lot of times, slightly turned to one side, either right or left, could could do something for, you know, a little bit of asymmetry. You know, that would that would make the picture look more interesting. Okay, my question: You actually should be placed under house arrest for aiding the misrepresenting of women's ages and the masterful images of them you capture. To rectify this, <clears throat> please tell us the exact ages of two of those women that I mentioned <laughs> earlier. I will give you the names again. Linda Osifo, Nancy Sime, Peo Tusi, Moabudu. Nancy, Nancy Sime should be... One. Final number. Final number. You know you're going for two people. Final so Nancy Simei, 31? 31. I think she celebrated her bad day. Yeah. And then um, Osifo. Linda Osifo. Linda Osifo. Okay. Moabudu should be. <laughs> Most of these people come and do a birthday photo shoot. I was, I was, so I was thinking I was, you should you should know. That's the thing, you know. I just did have a birthday shoot the last time. I didn't. 61. 61. Yeah. So Nancy 31. Yes. Moabudu 61. Is that your final answer? Are you going for that? Not sure. Not sure. Just guess it. Okay. Yeah. And you are <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I'm just Nancy Sima is actually thirty. Okay. And Moabudu mm. is fifty eight. Fifty eight. Yeah. Okay. True. So this is the part where you get to drink. Fifty eight. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's the part where you get to drink. No problem. Okay. Mm. No, see, I know you want to, you just you want to yes, so make sure I drink. I need to, I need to finish you. <laughs> My next question before you take yours, mm -hmm. let's talk about your magazine style, Mania magazine. Yeah. Mania style magazine. Um one of your most iconic photographs uh, was one of Agbani Darego in 2014. It also made the cover of your magazine style mania, which you started after many years of shooting fashion and beautiful photographs for magazines like True Love. It must, be, it must be quite the experience shooting international models for international magazines. Did you ever think you would be a creative force to reckon with 
out of Africa. Well, I do believe that if if you have any kind of influence in Nigeria, you already have influence. It's a takeover. Yeah, you already have influence. Out Why of is Africa. that, by the way? It's 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 the whole giant of Africa thing. Oh. You know, one, two. There's something about well, Lagos, you know, and the energy that we vibrate through the continent, and somehow people people get to see what's going on here. Okay. Now my question. <clears throat> What year was <laughs> Agbani Darego crowned Miss World? <laughs> if you want me to drink the whole bottle of <laughs> which year? I'm funny. The, which the, year was that? The crazy thing. I I, de mm. I definitely remember that year because there was something that happened that year. I that, can't remember. That that. Stuck. Which year was that? Um, two. Two thousand and four. I can't. You can't remember. It's been a while, though. So let's do. Mm. I can't remember. Let me give you options. Okay. <laughs> yeah, two thousand. Yeah, two thousand and one. Year 2002. Hmm. What year did you take that picture? No, it was long after long she. Long after, had, yeah. After she had, you know, she was already. 2014. Yeah. She was already. Uh, she was already quite famous. Mm -hmm. 2001. Final answer. Final answer. Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Chamath is actually correct. <laughs> I shouldn't have bothered to do the options. I Good. shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> Thank goodness. Your turn. God, I'm in trouble. I have wasted my lifelines. Your turn. Okay. Okay. Good. If you get this one. You drink everything. Yeah? I would, I would just drink everything. You shall turn. <laughs> So apparently I will get this dead. So what is the question? So, um, of all my years of shooting fashion editorials on location and all that, which location was I stopped by the police? And um, how did I get out of it? Let's be Lagos. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be Lagos. Think, 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 think. <laughs> I know, I know Lagos. No, no, you're about to do some serious drinking now. <laughs> Is that your final answer? <laughs> hey. Forget it. This, this is one, in Nigeria. This one is locked. Why are you asking me? <laughs> it's in Togo. <laughs> Lagos. Tell me the city. Uh, Lagos City. <laughs> Probably you called the governor. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm Felix <laughs> All right, drink up first. Wow. The, 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 the answer to this was in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Paris. We were shooting at the Louvre. I was shooting editorial with Oji Okbe at the, at the Louvre. And um, my friend had warned me, say Kelechi. If you're, if you're bringing all these uh, things to go and shoot, police is going to ask you for permit. So I had told all the French people I was working with, say, look, if police comes, <laughs> let them talk to me. <laughs> so the policeman came, spoke all his French, and said, so, mm -hmm. I said, me? No French. <laughs> <laughs> After all he said and done, he looked at the other people and I'm like, <laughs> we can't speak French. The man was like, no. He started using sign language. Like, like, let's go. Out. No, he just. Okay, you should move. <laughs> yes, he just told us to, to get out of the place. But then we've collected, we've grabbed you the don't know what you want to do. <laughs> because, I mean, that was a major tourist attraction, yeah. you know. So everybody that was a crowd, and then, you know, yeah, I was my model on top of the podium yeah. and light and everything. 
Yeah, but I knew. I knew it was. Uh, yeah. uh, don't don't try don't try this. But don't try this. At home. <laughs> <laughs> you may get arrested. <laughs> I like I like that story. Uh, anyway, <sighs> so that is good. But you um, know you know I asked initially that is this Nigeria? <laughs> I tried. I gave you options for mine, but no, no, don't it's worry, okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Let me let me see. Let me see any other easy question. Let me give you a question. Okay, this one is easy. I'm sure you'll be able to get That's it. That's what you're mm, This one is easy. So I'm having an exhibition presently, you know, um, at a co um, Pan African, co Bank Pan African Center um, of amazing Nigerian landscapes. How many pictures are on display? Just give me a number. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Very simple. Hmm. Is it? You don't give me options. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me trying to beg. <laughs> you don't give me options. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me give you options. Okay. There is twenty-five. There is twenty. And there is thirty. <laughs> is it your last answer? <laughs> in short, it's your last answer. It's, it's gone. It's not 20. It's, it's 30. <laughs> Guys, you, because it's options. You've chosen one option, so you can't do, choose another one. Do you know what, what trick I pulled? I said, if, if it was really 20, you would have said 20 first before 25. <laughs> <laughs> 30. So, why? Okay. why? One, one. Why, why 30 things. pictures and how is it going? 30. Yeah, I mean, there were so many beautiful places. What can I say? I, I chose 30 images. I wanted to make 20, but I, I couldn't, you know, it was, yeah. All right. The, the space was quite big enough. Big enough. Mm, you know? I'm in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. So far, it's a tie, but we'll go on this break and we'll be back with 7 of 7. And I will completely... Kill me. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Still 7 of 7. <laughs> Kelechi Amadi right here in Beauty and OJ still here. And so far, so good. It's a tie. <laughs> <sighs> and that's not your plan. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. Let's mm. see. My fifth question. <clears throat> you tell a very interesting story about how you discovered your passion for art, even while in law school, becoming a painter and master at making posters under the nickname The Zulu. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Why that name, by the way? Well, The Zulu, I, I just finished watching the movie Shaka Zulu, you know, and I thought, wow, this guy is a great chap, you know, mm -hmm. got some white folks, locked, locked them up, and used them as his own personal slaves in the days of colonization. Yeah, true. So I thought it was a short name that people would, you know, find easy to pronounce and uh, I could relate with okay. Shaka Zulu. It's good that you talked about you watched the movie and um, so you complete this popular quote by Shaka Zulu. Let's see if you can still remember. <laughs> quote, a man chosen to wield life and death on the battlefield more A man chosen to to wield life <laughs> and, death and death on the on battle the battlefield. Field. Must be ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that that will be the, 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 the thing he will say. Oh. Eh? Must be ready to give his life. No, is he dead or die? Like, mm, or be ready to die, ready or something, to die. or something in that regard. Final answer. Final answer. <clears throat> <laughs> so let me read the full quote. So that read, you it, get read it. it. Read <clears throat> it. Let's see. A man chosen to wield life and death on the battlefield must be an artist. Hmm. Even if he isn't, he's simply a murderer. Shaka Zulu. 
Okay. Thank you very much. I'm loving this. <clears throat> okay. I'm loving this. Hmm. Hopefully, I won't suffer for it after. I'm going to. I'm going to find <laughs> some kind of questions. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> My sixth question. Let's talk painting right now. You were ushered into the League of Contemporary Nigerian Artists in 1997 after an exhibition at the Russian Cultural Center. You moved out of your aunt's place and started painting. You became obsessed with the human form and delved into painting. You also started taking pictures of your work to catalog them. Later, you also started taking pictures that followed this same pattern. My question for you, Mr. Kelechi Amadi. What is the art of taking or drawing nude pictures of? Taking or drawing nude pictures. Nude pictures. The art. Yeah. What is it called? Is it Bodo? No, it's not that it's asking you. Yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the name. Uh, for photography. For me. Bodo. Yeah. Final answer? Final answer. And... You have to drink. What's the answer? Okay, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Budo photography, ah. yes. <laughs> I just wanted you to do uh, <laughs> Budo photography, this is a form yes. of intimate photography that yes. requires a unique mix of photography skills, scarcely clad models of muses and fantasy. Yeah, yeah Budo. Yeah, that's it's the, a French word. Yeah. <laughs> ah, your turn. <laughs> All right. It's time for the slaughter. Oh, God. Hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> through my years as a photographer, okay. I had photographed um, several top individuals. So, how many heads of states have I photographed? And can you name them? Hmm. Very simple. Baya is Buari. <laughs> Baya Omo Buri Omo Buri Owo yeah, yeah, is yeah. President he's, Buari. He's, so yeah, personal. Let's leave. Oh, it can be his personal photographer, and you can still. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> President in Nigeria. No, no, it's actually. Huh? I'll give you a hint. Yeah. Not one country. Really tough and hard one, you know. Um, might be one continent, might be, might, you know. <laughs> Why you they carry me so I don't know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me not. <laughs> no, you just even made it worse. <laughs> I think you're supposed to help me. <laughs> so, you can be outside Africa. <laughs> <pizza. laughs> so, think. Yeah, you can have that again. Who knows? <laughs> yes. And that's the thing, you know, I didn't quite publicize those uh, photo yeah. shoots. Yeah. <laughs> it is a wild guess. Two. Mm -hmm. Olusha Gwamba Sanjuro. One. One. And Jacob Zuma, South Africa. Two. Drink! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm not loving this at all. God! It's um, the two presidents. It's uh, Muhammad. I got Buhari, it. I... Buhari himself, you know, one. Damn. And uh, Kofi Ado of Ghana. I shot him for Forbes, cover of Forbes. Africa. I said, I said two. Yeah. <laughs> I said two. <laughs> how was how was that experience like for you? Let's let's talk about the Nigerian president. How was that experience for you? Yeah. God, why? So you know, I was asked, why didn't you just give me a clue when I said I know Bayo Mobiru is his official photographer for? Yeah. That's why I had to, that's why I had to stay away from that clue. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know you know this is unfair. How was that experience for you taking <clears throat> the president of the Federal well, Republic I'd, of Nigeria? Yeah, I photographed him. 
issued his election posters, you know, just before he became before he became president. And um, yeah, that was my so it was way before. Mm, not, so you, way, not way before. Just like before just before, just before the election. So you can mm. so you will not be scared to mm. tell him, Oga, mm -hmm. do like this. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so that was before Bayo Mobile came <laughs> into the uh, so that was that was an experience. And then I had to go to Ghana to to shoot Kofo for the cover of yeah, of, of Forbes. Yeah, it was quite easy to, to get to the president. He was easy yeah. going, no stress, you know, job. Very, you know that guy is yeah. such an orator. Yeah. yeah. Amazing work here, Joe. We must say, we must say. Your next question. Oh, okay. next question. Please. Oh, it's true, I got two. Please, you, Let's see. you should try making it <laughs> easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in see. trouble today. Okay, let me just ask you this one. It's very easy. Mm. That's what you say. Um. This one, this one is easy. There's no big there. What is the name of the most expensive photograph ever sold in the world? Um, how much was it sold for? Mona Lisa. Yeah, it's not a photograph. That's a oh, painting. that's a painting. Yeah. Mona huh? Lisa is a painting. Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci. Mm, da Vinci. Mm. Expensive photograph. Yes. And you said it's easy. <laughs> It's a, it's a drinking question. <laughs> hey God. This guy throw my entertainment. Pull it out of the woodworks. <laughs> <It's> expensive. <laughs> don't don't bother yourself. Just leave it. Leave, leave that matter. Even I should, I should not bother if it, yeah, just, you just have headache. Just drink. To make life easier. <laughs> oh, wow. That one. I <laughs> even I don't think, okay, now the answer to that question is, um, is it was taken by, um, by a guy called Peter Link hmm. in um, December 2014 um, of, it's called Phantom, a black and white shot of Arizona's Grand Canyon, you know, and it was sold for $6.4 million. Yes, no you know, there's no way he could have, no exactly. Way. So he's a photograph of a landscape, you know, a nice, uh, you know, canyon. Yeah. And uh, interesting. And it didn't look very different from some of the pictures I'm exhibiting. So, so it's, it's crazy how the, how people fancy all these kind of pictures and some other people from outside that don't love photography will be like, what's in there? What's so expensive about this? But that is art, you see. Art is mysterious in that way. I mean, you get a, you get to a museum, and you're putting, let's say, the Mona Lisa yes, portrait of um, uh, Leonardo da Vinci next to a Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock is this artist, um, abstract artist that used to drip paint on canvas, yes. just drip. I'm sure you've seen yeah. some of his work, you know and put two of them in, in a museum and say these are like super masterpieces. Somebody who is interested in figurative art would say, oh, but the Mona Lisa, you can see the craft, you can see the energy, you can so see special. so many years of learning how to draw a face that this person put into the Mona Lisa. What's, What's going this? on with this Jackson Pollock? In fact, in his days, they called him Jack the Dripper because then there was a, a serial murderer named Jack the Ripper. Yeah, so true, it, it caused so much controversy. But you see, um, Jackson Pollock's work is at the height of abstract expressionism, where they say it is the subconscious, you know, Freudian theory of, you know, who you are, the subconscious you. So how can the subconscious you express itself and ignore as much as possible, you know, figurative art? And he achieved the epitome of that, yes, you know, true. and um, so it's, it's interesting, yeah. you know, very, it very is, interesting, uh, as they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, true, yeah? and true. art in itself is a mysterious thing, you need to, uh, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, on that little lecture note, we'll go on this break, and hopefully when we come back, I'll get Kelechi Amadi to drink my last one, <laughs> and probably not drink again, we'll be back. <laughs> Yes, welcome back, people. It's still 7 of 7, in case you're wondering. OJ right here in the building. Kelechi Amadi right here in the building. And is leading because he has three shots empty on his side and I have four 
MC on my side and that is not supposed to be the way <laughs> this game is supposed to go right here on 7 m 7 Huh, my final question. And you have one more question. <laughs> what question can I ask you that will make you <coughs> drink? <clears throat> oh! Name. <laughs> and if you don't give me a name, you will drink. <laughs> Name somebody that you, uh, celebrity that you have uh, photographed. It's difficult to work with. That's difficult to work with. That's what's well, difficult. And messy and you probably know what to work with the person again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drink to them. <laughs> <sighs> That's the only way. They can get clear to everybody to drink. <laughs> that was cheating. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, my goodness. <laughs> so, it's a tie, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, <laughs> I can think. Of a okay, there's no, no need, no, need. No, 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 no. <laughs> That was close. <laughs> okay, this one is easy, so that, you know. That's what you always say. No, this one is easy. So okay. This one is easy. That one. So that it will be a tie, it's okay. You know? Um, <laughs> I've, I've, I've been, you know, using cameras, you know, to make my photography and um, in fact, tell me the, the, the brand of camera that I use so much so that, you know, I even became an ambassador. That is, that's very easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, very, it's, out there. it's supposed to be, yeah. I just electric, I give you this one as a token of my appreciation. Soon. Drink! Wait, 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 I'm not done, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done, I'm not done, I'm not done. You do not, you, you do not say final answer. It's final answer. You do, not, you do not ask me if that was my final answer. You don't have any choice again. It's only one. Nikon. How many, how many cameras do they have? Nikon. My friend drink, I gave you a very easy something. Nikon now. My friend drink. Hey, God. That's cheating, though. Guys Mr. Know. Kelechi, I said, you know, I was doing Taekwondo in my early days. <laughs> Nikon. <laughs> it's Nikon. So if you watch but the show, if you people watch the show from the part where I said Nikon, you know I was correct. At <laughs> that was a and, nice one. And there's, and there's no way I would have asked you to give me options. No, which kind of option? <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> looking at the table right now. <laughs> For five empty on my side, four empty on Kelechi Amadi's side. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner for tonight. <laughs> Mr. Kelechi Amadi. Even though, even though he cheated. <laughs> <laughs> we have come to the end of the session right here on 7 of 7, but that's not all. <laughs> <laughs> As always, the tradition here is to check your sobriety before we let you go. Call it a walk of shame and you will not be wrong. Now we are doing tongue twister as usual. Mm -hmm. Tongue twister. <laughs> Wayne went to Wales to watch Wow Roses. <laughs> you say it five times. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Wayne went to Wales to watch Wow Roses five times fast. When went to Wales to watch Wild Roses? 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 That's how Kelechi Amadi taught our star to a song, um, Whiskey's uh, Burner by the Bido. Holla at Kelechi Amadi if you want a backup of your song. Thank you very much, sir, <laughs> for coming you, and, you. of course, taking your chance right here on 7 of thank 7. We yeah. wish you nothing but success and more accolades to follow your passionate hard work. And we are definitely rooting for you because you're taking Nigeria. Show Nigeria in a brighter and better manner. Thank, thank you. you very much once again, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, and that's the show this evening. We hope you enjoyed it. Join us next time. 
As we drink on 7 of 7, like I always say, do not drink and drive or else you might steal your drink. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>